I can understand how you might think that I have these bad points. Oh, well, actually, that list is your good points. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Watch Mojo movie lists that haven't aged well. You just don't get the movie because you haven't seen any of the other ones. But I thought you said this one happens before the other ones. For this list, we're looking at Watch Mojo lists about movies that feel dated in retrospect, given the rank, content, or changing mentalities. Which Watch Mojo movie list do you think aged poorly? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Top 10 Marvel Characters Who Are Most Likely to Die in Phase 3 What, Watch Mojo had several MCU theories that didn't pan out? No way! To our credit, we were right about Tony Stark not living to see Phase 4. We won. Mr. Stark. Although, you didn't have to be Doctor Strange to predict that. It's a good thing we didn't place any bets on who would return from Vormir, as we had Hawkeye on this list instead of Black Widow. We probably should have swapped Drax for Gamora. Granted, Drax got dusted along with Nick Fury, but both came back. 2014 Nebula died, but that doesn't really count. Technically, Vision and Loki died, but that's nothing a Disney Plus series couldn't fix. Sorta. We were also dead wrong about Thor, Rhodey, and Steve Rogers. Although, the latter might pass sooner than later. So did something go wrong, or did something go right? Number 9. Top 10 Reasons Why Dune 1984 Is Hated 1984's Dune was critically panned, bombed like mad, got disowned by its director, and tried squeezing a dense book into 137 minutes. So, naturally, everyone hates this movie, right? that it doesn't give you any entertainment, even on the level of looking at the special effects and the wonderful things happening They're on the screen. They're quite cheap, actually. They're not actually, Dune 1984 has developed a cult following, which is evident based on this video's 2,000 downvotes. Fans voice their opinions in the comments as well. Some think it's a misunderstood sci-fi classic. Others argue it's a poor adaptation, but a fun standalone movie nonetheless. The film is by no means perfect, although for many, that's part of its charm. It even got a lot of people to read the Dune books. You have strength. You shall be known as Usul, which is the strength of the base of the pillar. Denis Villeneuve's version may go down as the superior adaptation, but hated probably isn't the best word to describe David Lynch's interpretation. Number 8. Top 10 Worst Movie Actors Okay, so we don't see anyone defending Paris Hilton or Tommy Wiseau as a gifted thespian in the foreseeable future. However, a few actors on this list have come a long way, including Jessica Biel and especially Kristen Stewart. We all dwelled on Stewart's static performances in the Twilight movies, but come on, not even a young Meryl Streep could make Bella Swan compelling. She's mine! Uh. A year before this list was published, Stewart gave three great performances in Camp X-Ray, Still Alice, and Clouds of Sils Maria, all of which should have been taken into consideration. I love her. She's not completely antiseptic like the rest of Hollywood. As of late, she's generated serious Oscar buzz for her transformative portrayal of Princess Diana in Spencer. Why don't we just switch Stuart with Steven Seagal and call it a day? Well, somebody hand me a cue. <laughs> Number 7. Top 10 Great Movies That Are Kind of Boring we kind of knew this list wouldn't be universally revered when it got published in 2016. He's looking at you, kid. With 4.6 thousand downvotes, it's safe to say that most cinephiles did not agree with our assessments of 2001, Casablanca, and Blade Runner. How can you even say that, Dad? Didn't like, didn't like it. Peter, it's so good. It's this, like the perfect movie. I, this is what everyone always says. We even included Citizen Kane, which the AFI ranked as the greatest American movie of all time. But what do those hacks know? I'll probably just go with something classic, like Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane is terrible. Pick a good movie. Good call. Smart. Seriously, though, we can see how the very idea of this list might have painted Watch Mojo in a shallow and pedestrian light. Still, we've all met someone who didn't understand the appeal of a universally beloved film, and finding the flaws in a supposed masterpiece can spark worthwhile debates. I, I can't 
do this anymore. I can't. It's too long. With this list, however, it seems like we got people talking for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Number six, top 10 reasons why the Star Wars prequels are hated. You know, it's funny, when The Phantom Menace came out, many Star Wars fans praised it, and the haters seemed to be in the minority. As the years went by, though, the prequels became the easiest punchline since Han shot first. Pod racing! A little long. Darth Maul with his devil face and the double-sided lightsaber. So dope! Badass! Better than Vader! I like one line. Things have come full circle, as numerous think pieces have defended the prequels in recent years. As the dislike button on this video shows, the prequels have at least 41,000 fans. We guess the sequel trilogy has usurped the prequels' place as fandom's new easy target. It has double lightsabers. That's stupid. You're both stupid. But who knows? Maybe when episodes 10 through 12 inevitably come out in 20 years, nostalgic audiences will reflect more fondly on The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. For now, we see why the prequels have their fans, despite their flaws. Uh, you so mightn't be saying that. Number 5. Top 10 Movie Wedgies from the same writer of top 10 hilarious peeing scenes in movies and hilarious movie toilet scenes comes his magnum opus. As you can tell from the sophisticated concept, this list received nothing but glowing comments like, quote, seeing watch mojo slowly die out is like torturing ants. You know it's awful, but it's still kind of fun. Man, that's brutal. In our defense, we think this video was more well-written than it had any right to be. Take this line, for example. According to the transitive wedgie property, the size of somebody's underpants times how far the waistband is pulled over the receiver's head will be greater than or equal to the audience's laugh ratio. Since this video is about pulling underpants upwards, though, that's admittedly like polishing a turd. That was the old watch mojo, however. Today, we're a civilized breeding ground for profound discussions on thought-provoking matters. Performance is an art. Writing is an art. What we do is art. Someone put too many farts in this engine! Now, where's that list on the top 10 injuries to the groin? <laughs> Number 4. Top 10 Comedy Movies That Could Never Be Made Today for this list, we discussed several comedies with outdated or objectionable material. In an ironic turn, however, this video wound up being dated almost on arrival. This is mainly due to our number three entry, Borat. As funny as the film is, we argued that no studio would take a chance on a satire like this now. Well, a month after the video was published in August 2020, Borat's subsequent movie film was officially announced and released in October. How much you think my daughter is worth? Five hundred dollars. Ooh, thank you. You my best friend. While technically more progressive, the Borat sequel still got away with a lot of politically incorrect humor that most modern comedies are too afraid to tackle. Obama was a traitor. America, he hated her. He belonged inside the jail. With the film picking up a couple of Oscar nominations as well, we suppose the joke's on us. Number 3. Top 10 Actors with Only One Good Movie We shot ourselves in the foot by putting Cuba Gooding Jr. in this video's thumbnail. Yeah, he's been in some stinkers, but Jerry Maguire isn't his only good movie. Hello, boys in the hood! Never thought I'd be crying in front of a female. You can cry in front of me. Through On the Rocks and Respect, Marlon Wayans has revisited the dramatic chops he demonstrated in Requiem for a Dream. Andrew Dice Clay now has two good movies with A Star is Born. Take a good look. With a voice like from heaven. Then there's Brendan Fraser, who's set to appear in Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon. Until then, Fraser has made good movies other than Gods and Monsters. The First Mummy is an enjoyable adventure. School Ties features one of his most powerful scenes. Cowards! And Cinephiles would likely be kinder to Crash if it hadn't won Best Picture. Give yourself a raise, will ya? Number 2. Top 10 Movies That Might Suck Videos Look, you can't always judge a movie based on the trailer, production problems, or the talent involved, as these lists have shown time after time. 
Before getting into our various blunders, we can safely say that we were spot on about Dark Phoenix, Ugly Dolls, and Chaos Walking. Yet audiences were pleasantly surprised by Sonic the Hedgehog, Cruella, and even Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Thank you! Thank you! Oh, <laughs> Good job, buddy! Alita Battle Angel has developed a passionate following. While we're still waiting for Disney to greenlight an Alita sequel, they are interested in making another free guy, which we also could not have been more wrong about. Make an original game. What? Make an original? Why would I do that when I can make a sequel? And we're sure that we'll have egg on our faces again after the top 10 movies that might suck in 2022 comes out. I want to make a cappuccino. A goddamn difference in the world. Much, much better. And a green tea boba. Holy shit! That's right! You go, girl. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Top 10 Most Anticipated Movies of 2020 Anticipation lists are not meant to be timeless. Once something comes out, it's no longer anticipated. This video didn't age well for another reason, however. We published it in March 2019, almost a year before we officially entered a global pandemic. You know that little thing. As a result, almost all of our anticipated movies of 2020 got pushed back to 2021 or 2022. The only ones that did come out as planned were Birds of Prey and Onward, although the latter jumped to streaming as theaters closed. When we said release dates are subject to change, we didn't think it would account for more than 80% of our selections. Maybe the magic just got it wrong, you know? If we had a time machine, we'd rethink this list. Or maybe we'd just prevent a pandemic from happening. That's probably better. I got this. You got this? You sure about that? Yeah, no wonder everyone hates you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.